All right, we are back with more Let's Play Lufia 2. Uh, just for reference, you can see I'm in this room now. Uh, apparently, the room that I didn't go into uh, was right here. I did step into this room, saw I, w I hadn't been here before, and then turned back around. Okay, so uh, apparently there was more. I thought that we were just going to go somewhere, and it would take us right to that switch uh, room outside or whatever that I had mentioned. So I know I'm not technically where I said we were going to start, but whatever. Apparently, we still have um, more areas to explore before we get there. So that's why I picked it up from here. Uh, I did find out off camera that you can actually, um, that my initial assumption was correct. You can actually um, choose to heal two. You can you can heal either one or two or three people. Or four, I'm assuming. And um, if you heal two people, then it does slightly more than if you heal all three people. Uh, I don't think I've seen any other game that does that. That lets you, because most games have it where you, it, you either heal one or everyone. But uh, being able to uh, dispense the heals exactly as you need them. And if you don't heal everybody, then you get like a stronger effect than if you healed everyone. You know, if the, if the healing magic is only divided two ways instead of three, it's slightly stronger. And then obviously it's the strongest if you single target, you know. But uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, pretty cool actually. Let's have Thomas do, or Tommy, do an attack on the stronger crab. You know, I haven't even been looking at how much EXP I'm getting. Oh man, Fumi can actually hurt these guys now. Oh man, 370? Hey, Fumi leveled up. You know, as I say, Fumi once, shame on you. Fumi twice, you, you can't get food again. Uh, okay, so what am I supposed to do here, I wonder? This little section of the carpet, or of the edge of the carpet, is not... It's like missing or whatever. I wonder what that indicates. Okay, so if I step on these tiles, it makes the blocks go away. Oh, uh, well, I can just gotta try all the things, I suppose. I'm assuming a bomb explosion won't activate it. No. It only goes in a plus. Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. I figured it out. It goes when you cross this thing, so you have to go from this one spot. Ah, oh, clever. All right, so just leave you, leave you alone for now. Aha. All right, hit that shizzle. Okay, now I just gotta go all the way back. Where was back? Oh, you know what? I think I remember. It was in the staircase. We're actually close by to it. Okay, we're gonna go here and then through the left door. And then left from here and then uh, up the stairs, right? Oh, god dang it, I have to... <sighs> I'm gonna do this stupid puzzle again. Okay, okay. All right, I'll play your game, game. All right, in stairs. And then drop another hot save since I did some fights. I didn't do too many fights. I did do, uh, did do a couple, though. All right. So this might actually be close to the end since we also did have a save, um, a save point. You know what? I still haven't figured out that ladder situation, I suppose. Are we going to lower the... Is there going to be like a switch? We're going to lower the lower the ladder and then have to go back. Uh, when the date changes in the back room, something happens. Why would they leave clues on how to get through the, through the tower? I thought they would not want people to be reaching the top. Oh, man, did you see that? Juked him. I feel like that should have counted as a fight, but I think if they're moving... I think if you walk past an enemy and they're like if you take a step down as they're taking a step up i think that um that doesn't uh you know obviously it doesn't trigger um an attack i think that's what happened it is 6 15 now the door opens at nine okay this guy why is he not moving yeah, i'm not sure if that means i have to take him out I'm assuming he's not related to the puzzle, but, I mean, you never know. 
this game has had a wide variety of uh, puzzles where you have to do a wide variety of things to solve them. So yeah, who knows? Maybe you have to do the puzzle and take out the guy. Yeah, I have no idea. Man, 450. So we're getting a level about every 10 fights. Is that correct? Okay, so what does this thing say? Oh, excuse me. It's 615 now. Door opens at 9. So... Okay. It said the ladder outside is in place. How would I know that? Maybe I looked out the window? You probably wouldn't be able to see the ladder from here. <laughs> So what does that, what does that other clue mean though? And what is up with this guy? Okay, um, let's just attack. This is pretty good music, but I do like how I think it was Persona 3. Oh wait, no, it was Shadow Hearts. It was the first game that I played where you hear the battle music like 5,000 times and then like partway through the game, it just changes. You just get different battle music. I think that's a, uh, I think that's a, a pretty good idea. And Persona 3 did the same thing, I think, right? Or was it Persona 4? Okay, let's read this again. Uh, when the date changes in the back room, the date changes? Is that a mistranslation, I wonder? Oh, by the way, I am playing a hack of this game. Uh, basically, it was supposed to be a hack that it's not supposed to affect the gameplay. It's supposed to, like, fix, like, certain bugs. And, um... I, what else does it do? It did, I think it said... I don't exactly remember what it said. That's had something to do with, like, it corrected enemy names or something like that. So it was supposed to make the game... It was supposed to, like, iron out some of the uh, the issues with it. But it didn't, like, change anything. Like, it didn't change anything gameplay-wise. I think it said that there was some enemies that were supposed to have elemental weaknesses. But then it, they, like, they don't do... They don't actually do more damage even though they should. I think it was, like, it's stuff like that. I applied your efforts to have come this far. You, why did you take Hilda? What did she ever do to you, huh? Orders, you see. I had to check out the abilities of certain men. I considered your case a, wi a while. And came up with your I with an idea. Kidnapping your sister. You'd do anything to save her. That idea will cost you dearly, friend. Pick up your sword. Uh, noisy, aren't we? Uh, now it's time to see your real strength. Dun dun dun. I uh, can't move. Um, kind of uh, 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 what do you call them? IP abilities? Do I have? Yeah, I could use that one. Increases agility. Does that last the whole battle, I wonder? Because if this is going to be a boss fight, that would actually be worth it. I don't know how long it lasts, though. Unfreezes magic of all members of your party. So that's like, uh, cures silence. I don't know. Let's try this one. And what do you have, Miss BZ? Same thing. Uh, is battle less going to be useful? Restores 50 of max HP. Does that mean she can... Okay, I can only use that. I can only single target it. So that's a single target heal. I mean, it's still free. It's still nice. Wow, I was actually just about to say, wait, can I select who to use it on? Uh, okay, sure. Uh, who's stronger, Tommy or Guy? Guy doesn't have any magic, so he's maybe our our muscle. Our uh, damage dealer. Uh, twice as powerful as normal. And effective against flying. Well, he's not flying, but... I'm pretty sure the double damage will still apply. Oh, I was about to say, wait, I didn't do the heal spell, did I? But no, that was giving him 53 attack points, I think. Oh no, don't sleep stinger me, bro. Can I use more? I guess it it, do, it doesn't drain all your uh, jams, so... Yeah, I guess you can use it till it's empty. Why not? Uh, it's Sue Thomas now, I suppose. Wait, why does uh, Tommy have a little jam next to his where it says CM? 
He's got like a little uh, flame. What does that mean? Oh, dive costs more because it's like better. Maybe he's weak to ice. I don't know. Yeah, I think Guy is stronger because he only got 46. So it probably gives you a percentage. It, it probably increases your um, attack by a percentage. And since Guy's increase was 53 and Tommy's was only 46. I think it means that guy's attack was stronger in the first place. Okay, uh, I think if we heal with Tia, we should be good. I still have uh, IP left. Uh, sure, why not? Actually, uh, Tia's full. Oh, wait, no, she only has the single target jam. Okay, next turn, maybe I'll do... Well, I guess it depends on who gets hurt. I might just do a single... Well, I think we're going to have to do another multi-heal. Uh, uh, let's do a, a multi-heal and a single heal. Let's double up the heals on this uh, this turn. Actually, we'll have you do the multi. Since you're going to do a single anyway, I might as well have you use your, uh, your single target. Oh, that means she got the flame... Does that mean that you're using a, a command or whatever? Oh, it's telling you what you did. Oh, see, that's why there's a little flame down here. If you use a if you use an IP ability, it appears next to your command. And then, see, uh, Tommy has a little staff to show that he used magic on his turn. That's actually pretty cool to, like, keep tabs on what you did. That's actually um, a quality of life thing that games don't even do, like, nowadays. I mean, I guess some do, right? They'll list out the command. But just knowing like the category of what you did is still uh, more useful. Some some games have it where once you put in the attack, you can't even you can't even like go back to the previous people. Um Okay, I think we're going to do the same thing as last turn. And uh Tommy's uh beefy actually, you know what? His multi heal is super weak sauce. I guess now that uh, now that he's healing three people, instead of one or two, his heal's not really up to snuff. Since uh, Tia's uh, magic has probably uh, started to pull away from Tommy's. Uh, I'll have him do a multi-heal anyway, but I'm also going to have Tia do a multi-heal. Yeah, I guess that answers the, uh, the question about if your um, magic affects your heals. I know it sounds obvious, but not all games have it. Sometimes, um... Sometimes, um... Calls companions, dude. Oh man, he's actually like wiggling. Okay, we gotta take out this guy. We can't f around. Remember what happened last time? Not cool, man. Um, wait, why is Tia's why is Tia's MP bar still like super full? It looks like we've hardly used any of her magic. All right, we gotta take him out. But uh, yeah, some games have it where where your healing is not affected by. Your, uh, your magic attack. I think, Dragon, what is it, Dragon Quest Eleven has a stat called Magical Mending. That's basically the strength of your heals, specifically. Uh, let's have Tia heal. Let's just stay on top of, of, the, uh, of the HP situation. I know, like, okay, I was just about to say, part of me is split. I want to take out that dude by attacking, like, as fast as possible by attacking with everyone, but in a boss fight... At this point, I feel like staying, you know, keeping your HP topped off is a higher priority. Oh man, guys, uh, IP is like filling up so slow, man. Is that is that because he's not getting attacked very often? Hmm. Actually, Tommy's jam is full again. We'll just have you heal. I mean, you can heal for days. I feel like, um... Like a single target heal is gonna heal for like 70. That's gonna be like overkill. But whatever. That'll get her at full. I feel like a multi-heal wouldn't have topped her off. You know, like, I want to keep her at full more than anyone since her HP is the lowest. Okay, what did he do with this turn? He wait, like He did like a regular wimpy-ass attack. So uh, we're probably good to attack with everybody.
Hmm. I wonder if that, uh, that attack boost is still active. Yeah, see, I have no freaking idea. It would be nice if there was a message that was like, the effect wore off. That way I know the effect wore off. Some games have it where, like in Disgaea, for example, um, if you cast, like, attack up, it starts to, it, like, fades a little bit on every turn. So it lasts for five turns. But on turn three, it's not as strong as it was on the turn it was cast, you know. And then by the time you get to, like, the fifth turn, right before it wears all the way off, it's not very effective anymore. So that's pretty cool to have it where, uh, where the spells, like, gradually degrade or whatever. Or they, they, um, they lose effectiveness over time instead of just all or nothing, you know. Okay, we've been doing damage. Okay, I was just about to say, we've been doing damage to this guy. So I was about to say, like, he's he's ready to... He should be ready to go anytime. Uh, it is mo more than I had expected, Guy and Tommy. How do they... How does he know our names, I wonder? Uh, but don't oh, uh, overestimate yourself. The, the time will come. What are you talking about? This world will be ruled by Sinistrels soon. Just wait. Ruled by Sinistrels? What do you mean? He's not a Sinistrel, is he? Aren't they, like, way stronger than that? Uh, ha ha ha, you people will never leave here. No need to know. Because I'm pretty sure that we had to get, like... Didn't we fight the Sinistrels in the first one? You had to fight them. And you were, like, a good chunk of the way through the game. And you still got your butt kicked. Like, you couldn't actually... Did we actually even fight them? Pretty sure we did. The door just closed. Ha ha ha, you cannot escape. Is he trying to bury us? Bury us with the tower? Let's try to open the door. Guy, go get Hilda. Okay, and the treasures. Get the treasures, yo. Hilda, hey, hang on. That goblet dude looks like a monkey. He looks like the monkey from uh, Link to the Past, doesn't he? The dude that opens the, the the pod, as they call it, the Palace of Darkness. The monkey that you gotta pay for him to open the freaking door. Of course, we're uh, going to get out of here together. Oh, the classic. No, I won't leave you. Uh, magic stopping door from, open from opening. She didn't say, I didn't read what she said. Did she actually say, like, go on without me? And he was like, no, I'm taking you with me. This doesn't look good. We haven't got all day. The door opened somehow. Please, hurry. You, you are the one we saw. I saw at the cave, but why? There's no time for conversation. I am warping us to Tanville. No, I gotta go back up to get the treasures again. God damn it. Who? Uh, I guess we made it. Hey, Tommy, who was that woman? She once told me that I was destined to travel and fight. What a weird woman. Well, she saved us, all right. I should thank her. Where is she? She's gone. What is she? In any case, let's go back home. Hilda's a little hurt, too. Hilda. Oh, come on. You're fine, you big baby. Finally slept. How's Hilda doing? Finally slept. She'll live. Wasn't hurt as badly as we thought, but she'll be out of it for a while. Hey, Tommy, who was that woman at the tower? It seemed like you knew her. That Okay, we aren't... We, he just said it a little while ago. Uh, that woman, you know, the one who told me I was destined to fight? Just what kind of woman is she, I wonder? Who knows, but she's good for us. She knows how to get rid of the, of the magic cast on that door. Yeah, anyone who can get to the top of that monster-ridden tower must be pretty strong. Well, we kind of cleared out the... We cleared out a lot of the monsters for it, I'm just saying. Oh, uh, that's the way I figure it. So, what's your next move, Tommy? She probably teleported right that, like right outside the door and opened it for us. She probably like skipped climbing up the whole tower to begin with. Uh, to keep going, I've got I got wind of something that bothers me. Are uh, you talking about the super beings out to rule the world? You got it. If they really exist, I'm going to have to meet them. And what do you do after you meet? Well, I'll probably get my ass whooped the first time just to like show how strong they are. Uh, if this world is their target, I'll have to destroy them, won't I? We're talking about super beings here, you know. You can't just walk on them like bugs. Sword to sword, I can win. And you, Sir Guy, don't you feel the same? Ha, of course. I won't be ordered about by anyone. Be ruled? No way, Tommy. Not me. So I thought, listen, we've got to be moving on soon. Huh, already? Well, I could... Nah, I should take it easy a while longer. You really want to go, don't you, Guy? Jesse... What a beautiful woman she is. Who is she, guy? Jesse, she's, uh, my, you know. Can't you say it straight out? Hi, I'm Jesse, guy's girlfriend. Why couldn't you say girlfriend? You don't want to be a puss like that right in front of her, yo. 
Uh, why, that's wonderful. Nice to meet you. Same here. Sir Guy's girl, huh? What do you mean? Can't I have a girlfriend? Oh, sure. I didn't mean anything by it. What is the deal with giving someone a hard time for, like, having a girlfriend? Like, oh, I can't. I don't want anyone to know. I mean, she's not even fat, so why would you not want people to know you had a girlfriend? Uh, so, Jesse, uh, what did you mean when you asked if I wanted to go? You want to go too, right? It was written all over your face. Well, but I... Uh, but you didn't know that I wanted to go... Like, you were downstairs when we were having the talk about all that stuff, and you just walked up in, up in here, and you knew that we were already going to plan to leave. Uh, if it's Hilda holding you back, don't worry, I'll take care of her. I'll feel better if you were at her side, but you and I... Oh, I'll miss you for sure, but you have to do what you have to do, you see. When it's all over, you'll come back to me, right? You know, I will. Did they, like, whisper that? Don't tell me they're, like, telepathic with each other because they're... They have such a strong emotional soul soulmate connection. Uh, go then. It's okay, guy. If you can help, I'm happy for you. Oh, Jesse. They're so close. They can trust in each other and wait it out. Now that's true love. Uh, that's because one follow the other follows the other's lead. Sort of supports. Tommy, what on earth are you thinking? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing at all. Well, I should tell you, I'm not the type. I'm not a waiting around type of woman. You know what? That just proves. I was watching another Let's Player. And they did the thing, and they misread something in the exact same way that I do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not able to read just as just as much as the next Let's Player. Something I noticed, a lot of times when I misread something, if there's, like, I'll read, like, I'll read a word that's in the line beneath it, and I'll insert that word in the, in the f top line or whatever. Uh, Tommy, I can go. I want to meet that super being. You'll let me in, right? In what? In the party? You sure about this? I mean, it's a very dangerous journey. Dangerous journey, is that all you can tempt me with? Sir Guy. Why are we calling him Sir Guy? Yeah, exactly. We have to drop this Sir stuff. I mean, I'm part of the uh, the team now. We're equals, okay? I understand. Why did we start calling him Sir in the first place? He, like, we didn't determine that he's like a noble or anything, right? No, no, you don't have to be so prim and proper. I mean, you could say, like, got it. Got it. Okay, then. Let's get going, Guy. Insert, I'm not your buddy guy joke. Uh, let's do it, Tommy. Out of here, Tia. Guy joins the party. All right. Look at that. We got a straight up party going on. This old woman will protect the inn until Hilda's well. Do you want to rest? Why, sure. Thanks. But uh, yeah, I saw another Let's Player do it. Uh, and it, it occurred to me. I was like, dude, that's the thing. That's exactly the same way that I mess up often with uh, with reading. Yeah, it's so strange. Like, there's, I mean, I guess I already explained it, but... Yeah, I'll just, I'll insert a word in the line beneath the the line that I'm reading into the sentence. It's so weird. I thought it was like, like I kind of was aware that I did it. Like I was aware that I did it every time I did it. But it wasn't until I saw that other guy do it that I was like, dude, I do that all the freaking time. It's like a common, it's the same kind of reading mistake. Uh, are there items I need? So it is kind of weird to make... What does this do? Damages all enemies? Why does it look like an arrow, though? The little symbol looks like an arrow, doesn't it? Magic guard. Increases DFP. Shouldn't they increase magic resistance? Uh, since we have... Oh, man, $12,000. Where did I get all that freaking money from? Uh, okay, so this is a warp to wherever I need to go. I'm not sure how much backtracking there's going to be. Maybe we'll get a spell... That'll do. That'll have the same effects as these, but I have the money, and they're pretty cheap at this point. Ooh, let's buy some of these too. There we go. This should be enough. I still have a good chunk of money left. But uh, yeah, I guess it couldn't hurt to have a few, just in case we do end up needing them. Um. Yeah, was I finished saying what I was saying a minute ago? Yeah, I just I just thought it was interesting that I kept making the same kind, like the exact same kind of reading mistake over and over again uh, over a long period of time, you know? Um, so where are we supposed to go? Oh, wait, did I save? I just saved, didn't I? Let's double save. You can never save too many times. I guess we'll find out when I look at the time on this one. I did just save. <laughs> okay, well, you, you know, it's always better to double save than to wonder if you saved and then decide not to, and then find out that you didn't actually save, you know? So, where am I going? 
Where did it tell me to go? It didn't tell me to go anywhere, did it? Let's go back and um, talk to uh, the people. Maybe um, somebody in town will give me a clue. Actually, you know what? Uh, we're at an episode. Um, I'll run up to the top of that tower again and grab the treasures. And, um, and I'll figure out what to do off camera. And we'll meet back uh, when I figure it out so we can make progress. So that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop me a like. I appreciate it. And I will see you folks in the next one. Take care. Bye.